Hello friends, this video on triangles part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 6. From exam, let's take this. Here D is parallel to BC. We have to find it. Very simple, let's assume A to be X. Since D is parallel to BC, we can apply this theorem. That is X by this X by BD that is 7.2 is equal to A, that is 1.8 by EC, that is 5.2, correct? So we'll get X is equal to 7.2 into 1.8 by 5.3, 5.4, this becomes 3, cancel, we cancel this also, this becomes 2.4, so X is equal to 2.4 centimeter and that is my answer. Very simple. We have this triangle D is parallel to BC. Apply the theorem and get the answer. We will take one more example. LM is parallel to CB. This is the case figure. LM is parallel to CB and LM is parallel to CD. We have to prove that AM by AB is equal to AN by AD. We have done the similar example. Here also I am trying to prove. So let's suppose AM, we have to prove that this by this is equal to this by this. this. If this is X, this is Y, this is X dash, this is Y dash, I have to prove that X, X by Y is equal to X dash by Y dash. Correct? This is something that we will prove. Since in first case LM, LM is parallel to BC is given. So I can say that x by y, if I assume AL is equal to x0, LC is equal to y0. So I can say that x by y, to, this is to prove actually, don't be confused, this is to prove. Now here my proof starts. x by y is equal to x0 by y0. Why? Since LM is parallel to C, x by y is equal to x0 by y0. Here's the theorem. Second thing, since ln is parallel to CD, I can say x0 by y0 is equal to x dash by dash. So I can say that x0 by y0 is equal to x dash by y dash. Why? Since ln is parallel to CD. This is my equation 1, this is my equation 2. If you compare these two equations, x dash by y, x0 by y0, I will just remove. What I will get is x by y instead of x0 by y0 I'll write x dash by y dash and that is what I was supposed to prove that is a m by m b sorry we have not proved that one a m by m b is equal to a n by n b sorry mistake on my part till now I have proved this much so since I have proved this much I can very well prove this also a m by a b by because here instead of x by i, I just read the question wrong. Actually, this was instead of x by y, this was x by x plus y. x by x plus y by is equal to x y dash plus. This was the question because this is a b here. a b is full thing. This was I supposed to do. I'll just change here only. It's very simple actually. Okay. So since this was true, x by y instead of y, x by y, I'll say x by x plus y. This is equal to this. Why? This theorem only I have showed you x by y is equal to x by y dash. I can also say x by x plus y is equal to x by x naught by x naught plus y naught. Same thing. I have showed you. Similarly, here also, instead of x naught by y naught, I will say x naught by x naught by y naught is equal to x dash by y dash plus x dash. Now, comparing this equation, I will get y by x plus y is equal to this by this or this I will get nothing else am by ab is equal to an by a. correct see this is not exactly Thayer's theorem but this is one of the features which you can derive from Thayer's theorem why when I say x by y is equal to x naught by y naught I can also say y by x is equal to y naught by x naught 
I'll add one both side. I'll get x plus y by x is equal to y naught plus x naught by x naught. Or I can say x by x plus y is equal to x naught by x naught plus y. And that is what we have written here. Same thing only actually. In the tips to remember the answer, I have told that when you say x by y is equal to x naught by y naught, you can also say x by x plus y is equal to x naught by x naught plus y naught. Same thing I applied here and got the answer. The trick here was that we were supposed to use this as the medium. This by this is equal to this by this. And again, this by this is equal to this by this. So we got say this by this is equal to this by this. That is x by y is equal to x naught by y naught. And x naught by y naught is equal to x dash by y dash. So we can say that x by x is equal to y by y dash. So in this case, it was AB. So I've used this. Let's take one more example. The question says A and F are points on the side PQ and PR of triangle PQR. We have to prove that EF is parallel to QR or not. All these values are given. So let's have this triangle where E and F are points on this triangle. We have to prove. This is to prove. Please understand the question. And it says EF is parallel to QR. It is not already saying. It is saying to prove. So first thing we have to find out what is given and what to prove. Right? So given is this values, P is equal to 3.9, EQ is equal to 3, PF is equal to 3.6, and FR is equal to 2. Now to prove EF is parallel to QR, if we can prove that if PE by EQ is equal to PF by FR. If this is true, then I can say that EF is parallel to QR. So let me try to find the value. P is 3.9, EQ is what 3. This is this one. PF is what? PF is 3.6 and EF is 2.4. Are they equal? This becomes 1.3. This will becomes 12 into 2. This is 12, 3, 1.5. So 1.5 is not equal to 1.3. Since they are not equal, so I'll say that EF is not parallel to QR. Very simple. To prove that this line is a parallel, we have to prove that P by EQ is equal to PF by FR. But since we have seen that PF by EQ is not equal to PF by FR, so we can say that these lines are not valid. Let's take a few more examples to solve our concept. E and F are points on the side, again same similar question, with the values given, we have to prove, find whether EF is parallel to QR. Same thing we'll do here, P is equal to 4, QE is equal to 4.5, PF is equal to 8, let's do this. Right? Same thing I'll do. To prove, to prove EF is parallel to QR, we need to prove that P by EQ is equal to PF by, sorry, PF by FR. Let's try to find the value of P by EQ. P is 4, EQ is 4.5, PF by FE. PF is 8 and FR sorry and FR is 9. If you see 4 by 4.5 this is equal to 8 by 9. Both are equal. Since both are equal I can say that EF is parallel to QR. That is my answer. Very simple. Let's say one more example. Same thing. Same thing we have to prove EF is parallel to QR or not with some value. Here PQ is given. PQ is 1.28. This is PQ. PR is given. That is 2.56. P is given. That is, this is 0.18. And PF that is 0.17. Again, to prove that PF is parallel to QR, if you can prove that PE is by EQ, here's your P by EQ is equal to PF by FR, we can prove this, right? So since this is 1.28, this is 1.8, this is 1.1, 1 
So let's find P by EQ is 1.8 by 1.1 and PF by FQ is sorry, 0.18 by 1.1 and this is 0.36 by 2.2. If you see both are equal, since both are equal, I can say that EF is parallel to and that is it. very simple. Apply the theorem if you get these lines, if the ratio are equal, then lines are parallel. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.